In this problem, we have to find the derivative of this function using the limit process. So the formula is the following. So f prime of x is the derivative of x, and it's given by the following limit. It's the limit as h approaches 0 of a quantity which we call the difference quotient. It's f of x plus h minus f of x, all being divided by h. OK, so all we have to do is work this out. So this is equal to the limit as h approaches 0. So f of x plus h basically means we replace um, all of the x's here with x plus h's. So it'll be 7 over x plus h minus 3. Then we have minus f of x, which is 7 over x minus 3. And all of this is being divided by h. Note that the numerator here is in parentheses. OK, so this is equal to the limit as h approaches 0. So it's a fraction. So I'm going to write it really big here. The bottom is an h. And so the way uh, I subtract these is the following. So I know that the bottom is just going to be this times this. So I go ahead and write it. I'm going to go ahead and write that, because I know it's going to be the product of those. So x plus h minus 3. Then it's x minus 3. Okay, this is the fastest way to do it. Um, OK. And then it's going to be 7 times, and then you look here, and you say, what's missing to get the LCD? What's missing to get the bottom piece? Well, you're missing an x minus 3, so it's 7 times x minus 3 minus, and then 7. And then again, you look over here on the left, you say, what's missing here to get the LCD? You already have the x minus 3, so you're missing x plus h minus 3. And this is all in parentheses. So again, let me use a different color. So it's 7 times what's missing, the x minus 3, minus 7 times what's missing, the x plus h minus 3. Um, let's go ahead and distribute. So this is the limit as h approaches 0. So we have 7 times x. That's going to be 7x. And then 7 times 3 is 21. Minus, distributing the 7 will give us 7x minus 7h. Looks like uh, plus 21. So plus 21. And it's all being divided by x plus h uh, minus 3, whoops, almost messed up, <laughs> x minus 3, and this is in parentheses, and it's all being divided by h, completely ridiculous, so all being divided by h. So this is equal to the limit, let's clean this up, as h approaches 0. So the 7x's cancel, the 21's cancel, so we have negative 7h over x plus h minus 3, x minus 3, and this is in parentheses, and it's all divided by h. So when you divide by h, you really multiply by the reciprocal. So this is really like h over 1. So the reciprocal is 1 over h. So this is really the limit as h approaches 0 of negative 7 over h. Then we have x plus h minus 3, x minus 3, times the reciprocal of h, so 1 over h. So these cancel, so we get the limit as h approaches 0 of negative 7 over x plus h minus 3, x minus 3. And so now we've finally reached a point, a <laughs> long problem, where we can plug in 0 uh, for the h. So let's do that. So this is, now you drop the limit sign, negative 7 over, and then it'll just be x minus 3, x minus 3. So this is negative 7 over uh, x minus 3 squared.
squared, and that would be the final answer. It's negative 7. Let me write it a little bit bigger so you see it. It's negative 7 over uh, x minus 3 squared. That would be the derivative. There